Well, hello. I'm back. It's the Mom Who Can't Cook show. So it's been a while, but today I'm gonna try a recipe that a dear friend of mine gave me for homemade hummus. Now, I made this before, it didn't go very well. I forgot to do, well, I didn't know I was supposed to do a few things, so I'm gonna try this again and see how it goes. My friend made it, and I went to her house one day, and she's like, try this, and I was like, oh my gosh, what is this? She's like, it's homemade hummus. It was better than the store-bought. So it calls for garbanzo beans, um, tahini ground paste, lemon juice, salt, minced garlic, and crushed pepper, also a little bit of cumin and olive oil. Okay, here we go. Now the last time I made this, I didn't know, I didn't realize I was supposed to save the juice that the garbanzo beans came in. So I'm gonna do that this time um, because I'm supposed to use it later. So this, just is, this recipe calls for just one can of garbanzo beans and then all the other ingredients that we talked about. So I'm gonna just drain this first so I can get that out of the way. Oh, <laughs> I'm just gonna drain this and then we save the juice for later. And I'll tell you what to do with it after that. Okay, so this is just one can of garbanzo beans that I'm working with. The first time I made it, I made more, thinking that my children were gonna eat the hummus, they did not. It was just me eating the hummus, which is fine. Okay, now when I went to the store, I didn't know what I was looking for. This is what it looks like. You guys probably know that I did it. First time making hummus. It's tahini and it's like a paste. It's really weird when it comes out of the container. So this is three tablespoons of it's called sesame paste. And I don't know this recipe by heart, so I have to keep the recipe next to me. Two tablespoons of lemon. Now I like lemon, so I'm gonna do probably two. I don't know if that's two tablespoons. I think I just love using this little gadget. <laughs> a scant. I don't know what a scant is. Um, but she says a scant teaspoon of salt. Okay, now I like a lot of garlic, so it calls for two to three teaspoons of garlic. This is three and a half teaspoons of garlic. I love garlic. Brushed red pepper, but I th oh, that's for the end. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna save that to the end. Um, one teaspoon of cumin and one tablespoon of olive oil. Now we blend. Oh, oh, oh shoot. Okay, now the recipe says this is where we add small amounts of the reserved um, garbanzo bean juice to the mix. This is to help with consistency. Small amounts for consistency. In true form of the Mom Who Can't Cook show, I forgot a step. One of the steps was the crushed red pepper. Now I started putting crushed red pepper in it, but then I thought this is what I use at the end to just decorate it with, but no, it actually needs to go in there. We have blended, we have poured, we have scooped. Now it's time to scoop into our bowl and do a taste test. Here's what it looks like. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle a little paprika just for color. Ooh, that looks pretty. I think that was too much, but anyway, that's what it looks like. You guys, it is so good. I don't have to add anything extra to it. Oh mm -hmm. my goodness. It turned out really good. If you want the recipe, go to my website, continue.com. The recipe is there along with all the steps and the ingredients. Thank you so much for watching today, the Mom Who Can't Cook show. I finally got something right. All right, see you next time. <laughs> my lovely assistant. Oh! When you ask for help that. from your children, this is what you get. I'm so, yes, I'm recording. I'm yes. Sorry. Dealing with your children. Uh huh. Assistance. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs>